Number three, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we just have to write an equation showing that H3O plus is acting as a bronsted Lowry acid. Now, Bronsted Lowry are just two scientists that, you know, developed this idea, but basically we're just writing a net ionic equation just to say that this is an acid. So I wrote down a little uh, quick uh, trick here for you guys, because what's going to happen is the acid, in this case, H3O+, once you turn it into something, that something is called the conjugate base. So it can't be two acids on both sides. H3O plus is going to act as an acid, and then once you manipulate it, it will turn into a conjugate base. So let's just write it out. So let's just say that I have H3O plus, and that's aqueous. And I wrote down that it was aqueous mainly because of two things. The first thing is that they want net ionic equations, so that means that you have to give a state and since we're dealing with acids and bases, all of the acids and their bases are aqueous, all right? So if you're starting off as an acid, all you have to do is just write the acid. And then we got to use these double arrows because we are in acid-base territory. This just means that it's in equilibrium, right? And now what is standard is that if you're starting off with an acid, you're always going to be giving up an H+. Plus. So there's always going to be a plus, uh, you know, H plus on the product side. So I would just go and write that in right away. So this would be something plus H plus. Now we just got to figure out what is the conjugate base. Well, there's two things that you have to do. And I wrote down here, if you're going from an acid to a base, all you have to do is just lose one hydrogen from the acid. So in this case, we had three hydrogens. So if I'm losing one, I drop one number down. I will now have H2. Oh, right now I'll have two hydrogens. Oh, and that's water. Now, the second thing is that once you lose that hydrogen, you're going to be minusing one from the charge. And the it's the original charge. So in this case, we had a plus charge in the beginning. And plus charge means that it was a plus one. So I could basically just do the math over here. If this was a plus one, all you're doing is you're minusing one from that charge. So plus one minus one, what's the new number? Yeah, plus one minus one is just zero. So I don't even need a charge here. You could put a zero, but technically, you know, anything in the upper right hand corner that's not there, that's a zero charge. And since it's a net ionic equation, we need to add a state. This is water. And remember, anytime that you have water, it has to be in liquid form. So there we go. And now this is the final answer. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in the next lesson for letter B. So hang tight. See you in a few. Bye-bye.